So the things I tell people right now that matters right now is one hyper niche. Otherwise, you're just another me too marketer. You're, you're, you're hot, whether you're guy or gal, you're hot, you're showing off your muscles or your physique and you go, hey, I'm having a discount. I charge $99 for a four week program. Come on, you're like one of many. And the price erosion factor is kicking in now where the next guy or gal charges less and less and less, and now it's a race to the bottom. But if you can specialize and not generalize, where, hey, I do general fat loss and nutrition, et cetera, well, I'm in shape and he's in shape, so what's the difference? Well, maybe I'm a little bit more witty, and so you like me more than the other guy, so you get your coaching program from me. But soon, the other guy drops the price, and you go, hey, fuck Bedros, I'm gonna get it from him. But then I drop my price, and you go, fuck him, I'm gonna go back to Bedros. Again, race to the bottom. But if I specialize in entrepreneurs who wanna build muscle because they have money, they have strong relationships, but they just haven't been able to uh, make the time to build their muscles and get in shape. I can say, look, if you're an entrepreneur, you're high speed, you're type A, you're driven, you've got the money, you've got the family, you've got the wife, but you don't have the body that you want and it's haunting you at night, I am it. How do people find their niche though? Like how, how if they're like, I'm just kind of a guy who likes to help people get in shape. So it's a two pronged approach. One, I always say, well, odds are, what's your story? Like I end up serving a lot of people like me. A lot of my franchisees and coaching clients are like me. They've been picked on as kids. The cards were stacked against them. They've got this anger and this rage and this chip on their shoulder, fire in their belly, the rage in their eyes. I attract a lot of people like me, male or female, I attract a lot of people like me. Number two is who is already your customer? So if you are a personal trainer and you realize, hey, you know what? I just wanna train anyone who wants to get in shape. I go, that's great that you want to do that, but let's, let's look around at your 52 clients that you have and that you train in person. What do they have in common? Oh gosh, well look at that, 49 of them are female. And of the 49, 36 of them are stay-at-home moms. And of the 36, 32 of them wanna lose their, you know, the muffin top or whatever. Well, holy shit, we just found something, didn't we? We just realized that even though you, you're willing to train anybody and everybody, you actually attract or specialize in women who are stay-at-home moms who wanna lose the muffin top and get in their pre-baby weight. So why don't you make that in your niche market? Because it looks like you're damn good at that and you attract that market anyway. Now, someone might say, well, that's not the market I wanna work with. I wanna work with athletes. Well, then you better start changing your marketing message because who you're attracting right now with the current marketing message is this demographic. But it's typically, who are you? What kind of person are you? Is the type of person you're gonna attract? And if you just look around at your customer base, you'll kind of start seeing a common denominator and go, holy cow, those are my ideal clients. Let me attract more of those.